The 1970 Dime, Rarity and Value Explained The 1970 Dime is a fascinating coin for collectors, particularly due to the potential for rare errors and the absence of a mint mark. Understanding what makes this coin special, as well as what to look for, can help you determine if you have a valuable piece. Overview of the 1970 Dime The 1970 Dime is part of the Roosevelt Dime series, first minted in 1946. The coin features a portrait of Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse and a torch, olive branch, and oak branch on the reverse, symbolizing liberty, peace, and strength. Dimes are worth 10 cents in face value, but some can be worth significantly more depending on their condition and minting errors. Mint Marks and Rarity In 1970, the U.S. Mint produced dimes in two locations, Philadelphia and Denver. However, the Philadelphia Mint did not use a mint mark for dimes produced that year. This can lead to confusion among collectors since coins from other years may have distinguishing marks indicating their minting location. Types of 1970 Dimes 1. Regular Issues Asterisk Asterisk 1970 P. Dimes minted in Philadelphia with no mint mark. 1970 D. Dimes minted in Denver, marked with a D. 2. Error Coins Certain 1970 dimes have been identified as error coins, which can significantly increase their value. Identifying Rare Error Dimes 1. Off-Center Strikes Look for coins that have been struck off-center. This results in a portion of the coin being blank, which can make the coin quite valuable. 2. Double Strikes some dimes were struck twice, leading to overlapping images or distorted text. These are highly sought after by collectors. 3. Wrong Planchet Errors Occasionally, dimes were mistakenly struck on a nickel planchet or another type of metal. These errors can be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. 4. Die Cracks and Cuts Look for die cracks or cut errors, where parts of the die have broken off resulting in unusual shapes or markings on the coin. Valuation Factors The value of a 1970 dime can vary significantly based on several factors. 1. Condition Coins are graded on a scale from poor, P, to mint state, MS. The better the condition, the higher the value. Coins in uncirculated condition, MS60 and above, can fetch a premium. Two. Rarity. Error coins are inherently rarer than standard issue coins. The more uncommon the error, the higher the potential value. 3. Market demand. The demand for specific coins can fluctuate based on collector interest, which affects pricing. Keeping an eye on market trends can help gauge the best time to buy or sell. Market prices. Standard 1970 dimes, typically worth face value. 10 cents, unless in uncirculated condition or exhibiting errors. Error coins, prices for error coins can range widely. Off-center strikes, 50 to $200 or more. Double strikes, 100 to $500 depending on severity. Wrong planchet errors, 300 to $1,000 or more. How to check your 1970 dime. 1. Visual inspection. Examine your coin under good lighting. Look for any signs of the errors mentioned above. 2. Magnification. Use a magnifying glass to inspect details closely. This can help reveal subtle errors. 3. Professional grading. If you believe you have a potentially valuable coin, consider having it professionally graded by organizations like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC. Conclusion The 1970 dime can be a thrilling find for collectors, especially those looking for rare errors. Understanding the nuances of this coin, such as the absence of a mint mark, potential errors, and valuation criteria, can enhance your collecting experience and possibly lead to the discovery of a valuable piece. Always remember to do your research, handle coins carefully, and consult professionals when necessary to ensure you maximize the potential of your collection.